we'll guide you through how to use and set up your PS4 controller on Steam. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's jump into this. In this video, I'll show you how to connect your PS4 controller to your Steam. So I will be covering two methods in this video. The first one being the wired method and the second one being the Bluetooth method for your PC. So first off, I will need to mention that this video will be split up into two parts. The first part will cover how to connect your PS4 controller using both methods. And the second part will be covering the Steam settings that apply to both situations or both ways of connecting your controller. The first method will be connecting your PS4 controller wired to your PC. So here is the wire that I will be using to connect my PS4 controller. This wire is the charger that you get with your PS4 when you unpack it. And as you can see, it's an USB to micro USB connection. You can use another wire that you have laying around in your house. You take that and you plug it in at the top of your PS4 controller right here. And now I plugged this part into my controller. And then we plug the other part into our PC. That is it for the first method. Now let's disconnect our wire and let me show you the, the second method. The second method includes you using uh, a Bluetooth connection. So to avoid any unnecessary problems, you need to first unplug your PS4 from the power outlet. So whenever you press a button on your PS4 controller, it doesn't automatically turn it on. After you have disconnected it, you grab your controller and then you press the following buttons. You hold down the PS controller and then you hold the share button until you see it start blinking. Now that you see it blinking, I'll be back inside of my PC settings to show you how to finalize the connection. Now we are back inside of our PC. We navigate over to the bottom left and we open up the search button. Then in the search button, we write settings. After we write settings, we select the application and we open it up. And now, as soon as we are into the application, we select the devices section that is second from the top. We open it up and then we make sure that we are in the first section right here called Bluetooth and other devices. Then after we are here, we select the add Bluetooth or other device. And after we have selected this, it will show up as a pop-up and here in the pop-up we select everything else now it should be looking for our device i need to make sure and emphasize that to use the second method you will need to have a bluetooth supporting motherboard or a bluetooth dongle connected to your pc for my demise i don't have either of them so i won't be able to show you the complete connection of uh, the playstation controller with a bluetooth connection to your pc but as soon as you have either of those requirements met the ps controller will show, will show up right here you will select it and that will be it for connecting it to your pc now let's jump over to the steam settings and now, as you can see, we are back inside of our Steam. First off, we need to navigate to the top left and press the Steam button. Now we go into the Settings option right here. After we get into the Settings option, we scroll down and we go into the Controller option right here. We open it up and we make sure that we have enabled Steam input for PlayStation controllers. So, in this way, Steam will be able to recognize your controller. Now what you can do is go and open up a game which you want to go and use your controller in and you should be able to go and start using the controller in that game and playing with it. You may need to go and customize the settings for the controller in that specific game settings, but that's going to be specific to that game and not generally for Steam. So if you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.